Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for Diecast Racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and beaver lovers out there. We are getting ready to do some high flying action mid facility. We got the landing ramp set up. We got the launch ramp set up. Oh, yeah, it's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds. Rock, drop, jump, manufacturers head to head. We love doing these. We've got two Porsches. They almost are the same color. One's Matchbox, one's Hot Wheels. We're going to throw them down over top of the ramp, see who can get the longest distance. Coming up on Beaver. Works diecast racing vehicles. Fresh out of the pack and to the track. That's the way we roll around here, folks. And this is another paint job version of the 928 by Hot Wheels. Look at this thing. I'm not sure if this is a new casting or if it looks like the old one or not. Still, we're going to see how good it flies. Second rip and roll right out of the pack tonight is the Matchbox, and this looks like a retool of their 911. Same paint job, go figure, both Mattel. Either way, thing looks excellent, got some nice specs, and we're going to see if it can beat the Hot Wheels. All right. They are going up against the Rock Drop Jump, folks. This is the Jump Challenge here at the Igloo Proving Grounds. Three sections of off-the-shelf black track mounted on a 70 to 20 degree drop to launch angle over a 30 centimeter pit. And that's when they come onto the measured landing ramp and then out into the slide out area for the style point. Points are one point for the longest distance per round, one point for the overall longest distance, one point for stopping on your wheels and one point for style. In-house driver dialed in, Daryl's going to be taking that Porsche 928 Safari down for its first drop. All right, he's all set up, and he's gone. Now down the ramp, over top of the jump, and slide now beautifully into the slide-out area. Didn't touch the sides, didn't anything, made a clean jump. That's the way you do it, making that Hot Wheels look amazing on the first run off the rock drop jump tonight, folks. Look at that thing sliding out. Getting that thing drifting, just beautiful, throwing material all over the place. Excellent job, dialed in Daryl in that Porsche. Checking out the ramp cam, seeing how that distance is. And he's pulling a seven centimeters on the ramp. That is 37 centimeters altogether on the jump. All right, checking out the Igloo replay. Nice approach, great launch. Got a little silly sideways in the air, and that was enough to assist that nice drift out into the slide out area. Dialed in Daryl, pulling 37 centimeters and two points. Drop two. Here we go, matchbox time in that Porsche 911. We got in-house driver Cindy Sixpack taking that one down, and there she goes, off the ramp. Big air coming down for the landing and is straight ballistic out the other end into the rail. That wasn't even a tried to turn or slide or anything. She just kept on going straight right off of the ramp. I don't know if she was checking her phone or lost grip of the wheel or something, but that was just like a missile right into the rails. And uh, there's the construction crew being able to do all the upgrades, making that uh, back rail impenetrable there. Checking out the distance on the ramp. She came down at four centimeters. That's 34 centimeters in total. Not that great for the first run. And we got the whole crew out there to make sure they get her out. And it looks like she is okay standing there. That was a hard hit. Checking out the igloo replay. Let's see how that happened. Coming down off the ramp. Looked like a good run up. Not bad air, and then just got a little sideways and just straight. Kept going straight right into the rail, and look at that. Nobody even flinched on the other side of that rail. Pure Canadian bacon for you right there. Drop number two gets 34 centimeters and zero points for the 911. That means Safari gets the first round with 37 centimeters and three points. Classic Hot Wheels Shelby Cobra right there. All right, Beaverworks International, folks. We've got Funkhauser Diecast Racing leading the old Yankin Valley Speedway. This place is hilarious. Doing their concept chaos. These are the cars that didn't make it into the main race. So it's the uh, didn't qualify race. And we've got Lieutenant Dan down here making uh, absolute uh, consistent runs, if nothing else. Go check that series out at old Yankin Valley Speedway. And then you got Gravity. 
Gravity Throttle Racing is doing their Bragging Wagon Series and Beaver Works has got our Volvo V60 Wagon that we putting in there because we just had to do something completely different and here he is. There is an eight lap race. That was one of them right there doing pretty good. Get over to Gravity Throttle Racing. Check that one out. And don't forget to support this channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. There's the like and there's the super thanks. Drop three. Second run for that Porsche 928 with dialed in Daryl going to come down off of the ramp for his second try to see if he can get any longer a distance this time. Down off the ramp, he's getting the air. He's on the landing ramp and straight out the other side. Looks like he tried to get her sideways, but still into the rails. And that's not going to get you a style point on the rock drop jump there, folks. So looks like the second round, he's not going to be getting all of the points. And Right there, you can see he's just straight in, going. Looks like he got a big bounce coming into the slide-out area, and he wasn't able to get his tail end on the ground. All right, let's go check out the ramp cam. And he is down at about 0.5. Zero means 30, and he's got 0.5 on top of that. So he's 30.5 on the landing ramp. Eagle replay coming down off the ramp. He's going over top of the pit, folks. You don't want to go in there. And then he's getting there, trying to slide it sideways, but gets some kicker right there. Doesn't get the tail end down and just into the vlog. 30.5 centimeters and one point for the 928. Drop four. All right, here we go. It's the Matchbox going to take a second and last run of the evening, folks. We've got Cindy Six back up on the ramp. See how they do this time. She's down over top of the jump and rolls it. Gets it back on its wheels and stops dead center of the slide out area. That is a style bonus, folks. It only matters if you land upside down or slam it into the sides. If you can get her stopped anyway before you do either of those, then you will get yourself a style bonus. Look at that roll over right there and slide into a stop perfect run right there all right let's check out the distance on that one this time it was great gets the front end down at 12 centimeters on the ramp 42 in total what an excellent looking run that was longest jump of the day folks and that one's probably going to take it all right down over top of the ramp on the igloo replay see the slow-mo coming down and there it goes over once but that high center of gravity a nice round top gets it back onto the wheels there it is 42 centimeters and three points for that Porsche 911 rally that gives the second round to the matchbox and gets the longest distance from the whole contest and there it is folks four points each and we're going for the longest distance gets the win that's going to be the matchbox 911 rally look at that beautiful casting right there Cindy six pack in-house driver flew that thing on the second round and got a good stylish finish out the end even though it was a rollover but whatever it takes what an awesome looking casting that is Great job by Matchbox. And there's the Hot Wheels 928S. Still great performing jump car, that is. And that's going to wrap it up for your manufacturers head-to-head -to -head tonight. Matchbox versus Hot Wheels. This week's episode was brought to you by the Beaver Works Race Shop. Folks, we have got cars coming out of the race shop going all over the world for different tracks. Make sure you check them out. Links are going to be in the descriptions. And all from the Beaver Works Race Shop. Lots of great builds coming out of there. All right, folks, that's wrapping this episode up from the manufacturers head-to-head -head on the Rock Drop Jump. Matchbox gets the win this time, and that was great stuff. Big Beaver Works shout out to all of you great folks for coming out and check out our stuff. We couldn't do it without you. From Beaver Works Diecast Racing, we'll see you next time.